Welcome back to the channel. We have a lot to discuss today with Sony acquiring Firewalk Studios. And I really want to dive into what that means for PlayStation and also what that means for gamers that are playing on the PlayStation platform. We're also going to be giving a quick update on Spider-Man 2. Nothing huge as the game is clearly on its way this year, but it does reassure us that yes, this game really is probably coming out this year and there should be nothing to offset it from releasing this fall. Now quickly before we jump into that, if you could do me a huge favor and hit the like button, really goes a long way, helps the channel a ton, and subscribe as we are on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Now let's talk about this Sony acquisition. Basically Sony uh, officially confirmed, they said on the PlayStation blog post that they are welcoming Firewalk Studios to the PlayStation Studios family. And as I put this community post out, I saw some people kind of scratching their head being like, well, who is Firewalk Studios and why are they being acquired and what's going on? Well, if you guys didn't know, they were already working in partnership with PlayStation on a yet unannounced multiplayer IP, but now they are fully acquired and clearly because Sony is pretty impressed with what they are doing. In quotes, they say, we're excited for Firewalk to bring their technical and creative expertise to PlayStation Studios to help grow our live service operations and deliver something truly special for gamers. So right off the bat, we know that this is all about live service operations. And uh, that's pretty much what they've continued to talk about as that is their next push in the games industry is creating great live service games and the thing with that is is that we still haven't seen any of them out just yet so we don't know what to expect but our hope is that when we finally do see them that it's going to be something exciting and not create a sign for concerns mind you they have already stated and have pretty much tripled quadrupled down that they are not going to walk away from single player experiences and that is still their bread and butter but they want another revenue stream and this is one way for them to do it he goes on to say we've had the privilege of working with probably monsters and firewalk for several years and our teams share the same ambition to create meaningful experiences for gamers firewalk's innovative approach to connected storytelling and its commitment to high quality gameplay continues to exceed our expectations i think fans will be very pleased when they see what Firewalk has in store for them. So they seem really excited. They think that people are going to be very excited about them. And this is not the first acquisition Sony has made from a studio that has not released anything. And this would be Haven Studio being one of them. And then now a Firewalk, which was founded in 2018 and has yet to release a game. So it's hard to get too excited because you're like, well, we haven't seen what they're capable of. So we can't really just get excited automatically without knowing what we're getting into other than taking Sony's word for it as they've obviously put their money where their mouth is by purchasing them, which really does give some assurance that we've got something here that may be special. But again, that doesn't mean that we can assume that this is going to be amazing and we're all going to love it and it's going to be perfect because obviously this is something that has not been out to the fans yet. So we don't know, but we are kind of expected to believe that Sony is so confident about it in what they're working on that they've just said hey we're gonna buy you guys out and that should give us some sort of confidence in what's being done over at firewalk now granted i'm not trying to diminish firewalk or haven for that matter but if we're being real here and we have to keep it real is that sony has not shown us what haven is working on they have not shown us what firewalk is working on so it'd be foolish to just get super excited head over heels when we actually haven't seen anything just yet so we're gonna give them a chance to show us what they've got working on. And once they do, we'll definitely revisit this and talk about this. But yes, Sony has acquired them. It's official, no questions about it. This is their latest acquisition. Let me know what you guys think in the comments about this. But moving on to Spider-Man 2. So during an AMA, Yuri Lowenthal, the voice of Spider-Man was asked, are you doing the motion capture for Spider-Man 2? In which he responded, yup, all done. So people have taken this to mean that Yuri is no longer doing any motion capture for Spider-Man 2. And to be honest, thinking about it, it's like, well, surely it must be done if the game is coming out in fall. Surely they must have most of the work done if it's coming out in fall, as you would think that they're doing a lot of cleanup on the code, right? Making sure they're getting rid of as many bugs as possible, making it as, you know, refined as possible, making it a polished experience. 
So this is kind of not a shocker to me. It actually just makes me feel like uh, more assured that Spider-Man 2 is going to be dropping in fall, which I never had a doubt about. I don't recall the last time Insomniac delayed a game. I don't, I don't recall it. I could be wrong, but I don't recall the last time Insomniac delayed a game. So it doesn't make me think that there's any reason that we should think that there's going to be a delay of any sorts. But this sure enough confirms that it likely isn't going to happen as they must be very well on track. And knowing Insomniac, those guys are workhorses, those guys and girls. So they pretty much know what they're doing and, and their dates are usually pretty accurate. So we can expect a refined, well experience that we're going to have with Spider-Man 2. But yeah, that's kind of it. That's the thing that was running around on the internet. People were talking about it and, and I definitely wanted to address it because yeah, it's being talked about and it is a it is a big deal to a degree. It is a big deal to a degree because it's an official source. Kind of like when Tony Todd was talking about, hey, you know, the, the, the game's releasing in September and marketing is in August, right? It was just something we had to discuss uh, because it's such a it's a person so close to the project like they're involved in the project so it's kind of hard to ignore that with that that's it guys that's that's the spider-man 2 news for today and the acquisition news which is kind of nice something refreshing we got some big news it hasn't been too slow as you guys know that the news has been so slow it's been kind of hard to make content which i do want to address in the end of this video now since we've discussed the news topics for today as you guys are going to notice i will be live streaming more frequently please come in check in talk we can discuss games while we play games. I'd love to have you guys there. Consider dropping by just to chat. And also I will be making more content about video games on the PS5. So not just first party stuff, we're gonna talk about third party games on the PS5 as well. And we're also gonna continue our talks about PlayStation 5 news as, as always, that, that will be conducted as expected. But I do wanna talk about uh, other third party games that are big that are coming to the PS5 because a lot of you are playing third party games as well. Obviously, we're not just playing first party games on this channel. So I do wanna talk about those as well as like those games are huge, right? We got Street Fighter coming up, for example. That's something that I wanna talk about and we'll definitely do that. So let me know what you guys think in the comments about all this. I will be streaming at 9.30 tonight, Eastern time, and we'll be doing a code giveaway for Crash Team Rumble. I'll also be chatting there, consider stopping by. As always, like, subscribe, share the video. Really goes a long way. You can follow me on Twitter. Link will be in the description. And I will talk to you all on the next one. Take care.